Hi guys! In this video, we'll be making this mini mermaid aquarium. Since this isn't exactly a realistic project, you can let your imagination loose and customize it however you like. Firstly, I sculpted my tiny little mermaid and I did this using Fimo Palma clay. I started with something that looked kind of like a snake tail for the body, then I cut it to size and used my basic sculpting tool to start adding the shape. Add a small cylinder for the neck and then two leaf shapes for the bra. For the arms, I'm started pretty simple with some thin snakes, then flattening out what was going to be the hand and making some small indents for fingers. It's hard to get too much detail into a project like this when it's so small, but I still went in and added a little thumb. Now you can add the head. I kept the face pretty simple, again because it's pretty small, by making small dents for the eyes and defining the nose and mouth slightly. Once you're happy with the look of your mermaid, you want to pre-bake her for a few minutes to harden. Because I sculpted my mermaid on a base, she has a flat back. Before I'm going to flip her over, add some liquid clay and then adhere on some unbaked clay to round it out. Then bake it completely according to package instructions. After cooling, I used thin down acrylic paint to paint on her face. I kept the face pretty simple, because if you compare her to my finger, she is tiny and I did not have a brush small enough. For her top and tail, I used some mica powder in some purple and blue, mix it up with a bit of glaze and then brush it on for shimmery effect. And here's how she's looking so far. Now you want to seal everything in with the glaze to make sure the colors won't leap into the resin later. After that, I used some viscose doll hair, made it into tiny wefts, and then glued it onto her head. A little side note to the hair color. Dry, this color looks very nice and opaque. However, once in the resin, this light hair was very transparent. So if you want to make it clearer, you can choose a darker hair color. Once her head is completely covered, you want to use some glue to brush down the hair, both to tame it and also kind of decide which direct direction is going to flow in once it's in the resin. For the tail fin, I cut out a small piece of tissue paper, then I soaked it in glue and kind of crumbled it up. Once dry, I painted it with the same mica powder as I did the tail, sealed it with lace and then glued it onto the mermaid. And that's the mermaid finished. Then I made myself a little sketch to figure out the size I wanted the aquarium to be compared to the mermaid. For the glass part, I cut out a strip of plastic packaging, 
that would fit the sketch I made with extra on the sides and then I folded the sides Once I had something like this, I took a regular wood stirring stick and cut a piece that would fit inside as the bottom. Once you have your bottom piece painted with acrylic paint for a nice base color, then seal it in with a bit of Mod Podge so the resin won't seep into the wood later. Then glue the bottom in place. Next I cut out a piece of cardstock that was big enough to be the back. Then I painted it using some blue and green shades in just like an ombre pattern, just for a nice background. Seal that with Mod Podge as well before gluing it in place and trimming away the extra from the sides. And that's our basic fish tank. Next I took some white sand, added this with a bit of glue to the bottom for a nice base. Next I added three sizes and shades of small pebbles and glued these in place kind of randomly but to the back right side I built up some of the bigger stones to be kind of a mermaid grotto. Then I added some small seashells and crushed shells, both I got from eBay for nail art. For different plants I used a product called Flower Soft, which is essentially shredded plastic in different colors. Finally we can add the mermaid. I glued her to a small pebble to make it seem like she's swimming. Then you want to mix up your resin according to package instructions. I use this brand. I'm starting adding my resin using small syringes for more control and I specifically dripped it on top of the mermaid so she was covered, trying to avoid air pockets around her. Once I added the first bit of resin, I tapped the tank and swirled it around a bit, trying to avoid air pockets being in between the small pebbles. Then I added the rest of the resin. Then all you have to do is allow it to set, and then we're done. As I mentioned, the blonde hair ends up looking pretty transparent once it's submerged, so you can use a darker hair shade to try and avoid that. Overall, I'm really happy with how this project turned out. I think it's really cute and you can make it look however you like. Thank you guys so much for watching, as always hit the like button if you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in a new one real soon, bye!